Hi folks, Robert here again with more Ready Training and today we're going to take tags a little farther. I worked on this house a while back with some people and they asked me could I do tags here. I thought I had done them but I didn't. This is the house, uh, see your 3D view of this, this house we did right here. Uh, I've got a whole set of videos on how you do this house. Uh, you can subscribe to this channel and you can go do this house from start to finish. It's done from a PDF drawing. But anyway, let's get started on our tags. So before we did tags and for cable trade, now we're going to go architecture. So you can tag and annotate just about anything. So here we're going to, let's go and start with our, let's do our door. So just like before, we'll select the door. And there's no tag loader for doors that you like to load one now, and I'll say yes. And then we'll go in here, and there's our door tag. We'll select it. And we'll go open. And then we can, I don't like the leader lines here, so we can get rid of the leader line and just select the door. So we can select all of these doors, every door. In fact, at this point, well, let's just do this manually for now, but we could also go in here, we could say annotate, tag all, and we have our doors. And let's go and get our rooms as well, and just say apply, okay. So every door, okay, it's not every door. So, so I'm going to do these one by one for now, because they didn't get this door. So I'll just go in here and go annotate, architecture, annotation tag and I'll just tag this door here so all the doors will get a, a mark see as you can see there's that one there's that one so I'm literally have to manually place all these tags to each door here so that's okay and then I think we did a schedule and the schedule and we even get the garage door so that's how you do your tags for your doors and sometimes you might want to move them out, but I think that's a good spot. And if I go look at that schedule, I think we did a schedule for this. Um, door schedule. So there's our door schedule. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, now for this, now I would just go in here and I would look into my, uh, in my properties browser doors fields and I would just place a mark uh, field in here if I got one there it is now move that over and I should bring that up to the top so it should okay and I go okay and so there are all my doors labeled and numbered by mark and it's nice they put them in the water so let's go back to our, our project so this is the first four. So now let's go in and do our windows. So same thing. This is very repetitious. It's not a big deal. Just go uh, tag category and let's go grab our windows. And if I select a window, we don't have one loaded. We want to load one. Uh, window tag. Right there. We go open. Some family selection cannot be loaded, it must be done in other categories. Do you want to retry? Yeah, I want to retry this because it's there. Uh, come on, I'm going to do this to me. Oh, window tag. Open. There you go. Okay, so let's try something else here. Um, yes. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Nope, I don't want that one. Uh, wonder why this is happening. Some or all of the family files you select cannot be loaded. You must choose family files of category. Floor tag. Oh, I don't know. I want a window. Okay. Do you want to load it now? Yes, I must have selected the wrong window tag. 
Look, I don't want that one. I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. All right. You got it. So there are all I want to attach. Let's place them in here. These are the same types. I should have did these earlier. That way we would have got a better feel of um, what windows go where. Because I know these are, yep. Let's see. We got any more windows here? So we've got all our, oh, see that windows back here as well. So we're tagging all our windows in the same way. It works with the, uh, okay, with the schedule. So we've got all our windows in here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at my schedule for windows. Okay. In my project browser, window schedule. And there are my windows and there are the marks. So those were already there. So those are the windows. And it probably picked up, and it did pick up all the windows, even on the, let's see, second level as well. Oh, that's nice. Even though I did not say all, oh, but the types are the same. So let's go look at our second level here. Well, let's just add a few more items here. So, um, Let's do our stairs. Yep, you can get tags for stairs as well. So let's go and say uh, tag category. Let's select the stair. And yes, we want to load a stair tag. And there's our stair tag. And we go open. And we'll place it right there. Two rises at the distance. And these go right here. Again, you can do leaders or whatever you like. So there's our stair tags. I mean, we can tag everything in the in a model. A rivet's good; it'll annotate everything. So let's go out and let's see. Maybe we can even tag these columns if we like, uh, or even a railing. So let's just just go here. You just go say annotate tag category. Yes, this low one. Um, I probably should leave that one alone because that would go on structural drawing. In fact, I think I will because I don't see it and I don't want to make this video so long. People get bored of long videos. I know I do because I watch a lot of uh, YouTube University. So there's our tag. So now let's go up to the second level. Okay, somewhere here. I've worked on this project so long I can't remember, but it won't hurt if let's go here, second level. And then I can see what's attached to it. Okay, floor plan, second floor. Okay, so I go here, floor plan, second floor. There it is. And now here, we sh all we should have to do now is just go in here and say tag all and we'll select all of our fields here I don't want any leaders and say apply okay so there's all our tags so folks I just wanted to give you a brief little deal on tags more information on tags and really uh, we can even take this a little farther, so I'm going to just go back down to my first floor, and you can even tag your walls. Uh, so let's do a few, and we get out of this. So I'm going to go uh, tag category. I select this wall, and I want to, yes, I want to load a wall tag. And here it'll take me to wall tags. I go open. And then I'll just select my walls. And now here we have the situation. Okay. But we have to do a little editing here. Just like we did before. So I'll select this guy here and I'll edit this family. And what I want to do now is I want to select it 
and I want to open my properties and want to edit this label. So we can give it a mark or we can give it a type or, or we can get our value here, uh, roughness. So we got all these different uh, options we can use here. So for the wall, let's just go with, um, uh, let's go with type or type name. That might be stretching a little bit. And let's go load into project. Okay. Let's try this again here. Really don't really we won't really focus on wall, so I'm gonna leave it there. So I don't want my videos to be too long to bore you guys. But anyway, that's more of tags. As you can see, we've got all these rooms tagged, and then I go back down into my my project browser. And I'll look at my floor plans. Actually, I should have did my foundation, but that's a structural drawing. I'm really focusing here on the architecture. So the first floor plan, there are all of my tags for my windows, my stairs, and my doors. And there is the second floor. And if I look at my second floor drawing, it's tagged all of the windows and doors and then I will go to my I think I did this I've, it's been a while since I worked on this project yeah there are my schedules and the marks for all of the doors and here these are the doors and these are our, win our windows so hey guys Thank you for watching my video, and uh, this is this drawing here we worked on. It's been a while, so thanks to everybody for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video. I just had a question more about tags, so I think we covered everything that has to do with tags and annotation. Uh, so, hey guys, thanks for watching. Everybody be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.